Hey, how are you doing today? So you have your Oculus Quest 2, you have your Link, you have your Sim set up, and you're ready to play a set of Corza in VR. Well today I will be showing you how to do exactly that. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Oculus app from the Oculus website, which link will be in the description. And then once you're there, go to devices, plug in your cable, your headset, make sure it's connected. Okay, boom. When you have a steering wheel, it should have a software program you can download from the manufacturer website. Mine is Logitech, so if you have a Logitech or whatever you have, download this. Download the software and make sure your steering wheel is connected to the computer. So I'm going to go to mine, and we're going to turn. You see it's working, working. Pedals, pedals work, pedals work, clutch works. We're all good to go, bingo. Okay, now, as we all know, there's two ways to open a set of cords. You can open it via Content Manager if you're playing mods or the regular set of cords away. The first way I'm going to be showing you is the content manager way but i will show you both so make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out okay so what you're going to want to do at first is go to settings then you want to go to set of corza and then controls and then on the controls you go up and then click access and you'll see where you can input your settings to whatever you want to use so steering wheel boom i turn left right steering wheel is working throttle as you can see is moving brakes you just click on it and then assign it brakes clutch handbrake it's all working and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna you want to go to video and make sure your rendering mode is in oculus rift and when you're done with it change it back to single screen triple screen whatever you're using but when you're using the oculus rift make sure it's oculus rift you want to make sure it's that and gentlemen we are in the oculus quest 2 as you can see very lovely we're going to go to our app library then we're going to go to settings and from your settings you're going to go to systems and from systems then you're going to scroll down and hit oculus quest link quest link and then you're gonna see Quest Link is enabled. You can disable it, but you have to enable it, obviously. And then go to Launch Quest Link. So Launch Quest Link, Riff Connected, Launch. And your Oculus app has to be open on your desktop in order for you to see the screen. It won't pop up unless you leave it open on your desktop. So from here, I'm gonna go back to my computer. I'm gonna go to Steam VR. I'm gonna launch Steam VR. And you're gonna see Steam VR loading up. Gonna give you a whole new screen. Are you waiting for that? Let's just wait on it so I can show y'all what it's like. And then you'll see something like this. Ha booyah! Set of cores. Okay. And then we go to we come back to content manager down here. We go to we hit go. And ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, we are in VR. So what you want to do is, first thing you want to do is on your right controller, there's this button that's kind of like in the stick, you know, like the share share button sort of. So you want to hit that button on your right stick, and it's going to give you an option to reset the view. So hit yes, reset view. You're going to look back, look where you want, hit a button. Boom, it's going to reset it to my liking. So boom, we are here. Oh my gosh, we are in here. Yes. Holy. Holy. <laughs> we're in here, boy. We're in here. Okay, now I'll be showing you the way to start up a set of cords or through Steam VR, the regular, normal way to set it up without the content manager slash the mod. So, what you're going to want to do is, is close out all that and start up Steam VR once again. Close out a content manager, close out all those things, and start up Steam VR again. Okay. And you can see recent apps and you can find all your other apps in here as well recent apps we're gonna hit launch and it will be a launch instead of Corza for me on my pc which will launch shortly and we'll be in there mm -mm 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 -mm. so we are now on the regular set of Corza from steam vr it's loading up as we speak so we're gonna go to uh, main menu. We're gonna go to a quick drive around race. Uh, we'll, go to, we'll go to a practice, and let's get a gear shift so I can show you guys the gear shift. Ford a Mustang a do, and let's drive. So we can show you how to get in this VR and show you the gear, show you the gear shift works. All right, we're loading up. Oh yes, and we are in here, my friends. We are in here. So like I said, once again, as you can see, it loaded me in and it is nowhere near aligned right. So on your right controller, you're gonna wanna hit this button right here. 
I don't know what exactly what button it is, but not the uh, A's and B's buttons, just the, uh, the button beside the, the analog. It's gonna hit that button, it's gonna give you the option to reset the view, so reset view. And it says, look forward and press the button. So I'm gonna look forward, I'm gonna hit this button. All right. And it is now aligned right to my liking. Woohoo! My God. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if I actually taught you something. If I helped, make sure to smash that like button. It helps support your boy. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on more informational set of cores of content. Peace.